Well, hello there, everybody. It's Grandpa Scott, and I'm here today. Actually, it's a very frosty day outside. I don't know if you can see or not, but it's snowing, and it was just 70 degrees almost out the other day. But today, we're back to snow again in Wisconsin. But today, let's forget about the weather. It's nice inside. Let's read a story, shall we? Today's story is called Curious George Visits the Zoo. Have you ever been to the zoo? You have? Oh, some of you haven't? Well, oh, one of these days you will, and maybe Grandpa Scott will get to go there with you too. But there's a lot of neat things to see at the zoo, and I think Curious George is going to show us some. So are you ready? Okay, let's go. This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George's friend, the man in the yellow hat, said, How would you like to see a real elephant, George? Let's go to the zoo. Wow, a real elephant? That'll be neat. There was a lot to see at the zoo. There were giraffes with necks so long they seemed to reach to the sky. Look at those guys. I bet you don't have a neck that long. And kangaroos carrying their babies in special pockets. Well, would you look at that? It's just like it was made for the little kangaroo, which it was. And finally, there were elephants with their floppy ears and their long trunks munching on hay. It was lunchtime and George was starting to feel hungry. I bet after seeing all those elephants eating, he saw people enjoying their lunches on the park benches and others were picnicking on the grass. I'm going to find out what they feed the lions, said the man in the yellow hat. Please wait here and try not to get into trouble, George. Does George get into trouble a lot? I think so. While George was waiting, he saw the zookeeper with a pail of bananas for the monkeys. Uh-oh. The keeper put the pail down to get a drink at the water fountain. George was hungry, so he grabbed the pail and he ran away with it. Hey, shouted the keeper, stop that monkey. But George kept on running. There was a crowd of people standing near the monkey house. This would be just the place for George to hide. Standing by the cage was a little boy holding a red balloon with a long string. All of a sudden, one of the monkeys reached out and snatched the string from the boy's hand. Uh-oh, better be careful. The monkey took off with the balloon and climbed to the top of the cage. Can you see the monkey up at the top? But when he tried to squeeze the balloon through the bars, it was too big, and the other monkey started to shriek and to scream. Oh, it must have been a big uproar. The little boy started to cry. Please, can somebody get his balloon back, asked his mother but none of the people could reach that high. George knew what to do. With a pail in his hand, he climbed up to the top of the cage. What do you think he might be doing? He took a few bananas and fed them to the monkeys. While the monkeys were eating, George snatched the balloon and swung down from the cage. He's a pretty smart monkey himself, isn't he? He handed the balloon back to the boy just then, the man in the yellow hat came running. George, the man cried, I've been looking all over for you. Please don't be angry with him, said the mother. He saved my son's balloon. George saved the day, but he was still very hungry. Now it's time to feed ourselves, George, said the man in, in the yellow hat. And that's exactly what they did. Look at that. George has a whole bowl full of bananas just for him. Well, what do you think about that? A trip to the zoo? What'd they see? Monkeys? Kangaroos? Elephants? All kinds of things, even big giraffes. Well, I can't wait to hear about your adventures going to the zoo one day. But another important lesson in this is helping other people, just like George did when he helped the boy who lost his balloon. He wasn't selfish and kept all the bananas for himself. 
He gave them to the other monkeys so he could get that balloon back for the boy. He wasn't just thinking of himself, he was thinking of others. And I hope you do that, that also this day too. Help others and don't always have to look for yourself. So, that's the end of this Curious George story. But you know, now's the time to go outside. Snow, rain, or just beautiful. And go outside and have some fun. Because this book story is all done.